so finally android 14 is available for redmi note 10 pro and pro max obviously this is not available officially this is available through custom roms and today we are trying lineage os android 14 and in this video i will review everything about android 14 what new features it brings how does it fare in terms of stability and daily driving but don't expect many features because this is an initial build in future they will obviously add new features but right now this is just an initial build and we will see that if you can daily drive it or not so this is the home screen of uh, this android 14 and as you can see it looks pretty much similar to android 13 there are not much changes now talking about the battery backup in this rom or android 14 per se as you can see from the last full charge i got around 3 hours and 51 minutes of screen on time and uh, as you can see i didn't charge my device fully and my device isn't drained completely so you can expect about five hours of screen of time and in that uh, i used n22 benchmark uh, i used google play store youtube chrome and i even did a bit of gaming uh, i'll come to that in a bit and i used telegram and all that stuff so you can see here my activity during that time and moving on to the customization in this app there are no customizations whatsoever like let me show you uh, this is just the pixel launcher and as you can see the interface of this part is also changed but there are no lock screen customizations available as of now as you see on the pixel devices uh, so there's that all you can do is just that wallpaper and that's pretty much it maybe it will be there in future updates like you can customize the clock color and the clock size and you can obviously choose different wallpapers here like in android 12 there are some new android 14 wallpapers but i don't see them here uh, maybe they will be added in future updates so wait for that and these are some live wallpapers which you can download and apply so in the meantime it's being downloaded we can talk about some other stuff like the camera application so the camera application is this aperture camera and you don't get MIUI camera or anything like that uh, because MIUI camera is not available for Android 14 as of now and also this is very initial build this is an unofficial build actually this is not even an official build uh, so there's that and that's why the MIUI camera or any kind of camera application is not available you can definitely go for google camera google camera works perfectly fine in this rom and if you don't use MIUI camera anyway then this rom might be suitable for you now talking about the play store certification let me just show you as you can see the device is certified so the banking apps work just fine there is no problem with any of that and talking about the unlimited storage you get the unlimited storage option like the google pixel so there's nothing to worry about now you do get some of the features of android 14 like uh, when i installed the gallery application it asked me to choose some photos and videos which the gallery app can access so i can choose the photos or videos specifically or i can allow everything or i can just deny all the permissions that i give so there's that and then i also ran some benchmarks uh, like you can see here i ran the n22 benchmark and honestly this is one of the highest scores i've ever seen on this device so it's pretty impressive in my opinion like 3,74,000 generally i see 3,30,000 or something in n22 benchmark application but in this one i am getting 3,74,990 it's almost 3,75,000 so it's pretty impressive in my opinion but you do not get any fancy 90 hertz gaming or anything like that honestly bgmi didn't even run 
so i was just playing call of duty to test the gaming performance and i don't know why bgmi wasn't running maybe because it doesn't support android 14 yet it was getting some kind of storage error that i'm not giving the app storage permission but even when i went to the permissions tab there was no option to enable storage as a as of now so it might be a bug in the rom itself but the call of duty worked perfectly fine and there was no issues with that the gaming performance was perfectly fine i didn't face any issues whatsoever uh, like you can see here i even got a screenshot and you also don't get any kind of dolby atmos or anything like that so if you are cool with that then uh, def you can definitely try this rom it is an extremely stable rom even though it is an initial build i didn't face any random reboots random jitters or random stutters on the contrary the performance was extremely smooth like the opening and closing animations are so satisfying so i love the animations in this rom uh, i think the animations are updated a bit it's not a huge change but i think the animations are a bit smoother in my opinion so there's that and in the end i will say if you don't mind uh, not having mui camera or dolby atmos and all you want is a stable rom and a google camera application then definitely you can try this rom and you can flex on your friends having android 14 when their devices don't even have android 12 or android 13 so in the end i will say it is a definite green flag from me you can definitely try this rom and it is a perfect daily driver and in the end of the video there will be a recording screen recording actually of the call of duty gameplay so you can judge the gameplay smoothness and all that and on that note like the video subscribe to the channel and i'll see you in the next one bye bye now Enemy contact! Target's in sight! Contact with enemy! Enemy down! Reloading, cover me! Target's in sight! Get down, sniper! Sniper. Contact with enemy. Enemy contact.
Recon is standing by. Enemy contact! Changing mag! Head down, sniper! Targets in sight. Enemy down. Now get shot. Targets in sight. Friendly hunter killer drone deployed. Friendly predator missile. Enemy in sight. Target down. Objective almost complete. Keep it up. Changing mag. Get down, sniper. Contact. Enemy in sight. Tango down. 